Join me as I take on the challenge of finding hidden fish using my ice fishing fish finder. Let's see how many I can catch today. Using a fish finder for ice fishing has become super popular among anglers lately. And for good reason. These devices can literally be game changers on the ice. When you're out on the ice trying to catch fish, you're often facing some pretty tough challenges. For one, it can be really tough to locate fish under the ice. I mean, you're basically fishing blind with no way to see what's going on beneath the surface. And that can be frustrating, especially when you're not getting any bites. On top of that, understanding the underwater structure of the lake or river you're fishing on is crucial. But that can be hard to do too, especially if you're new to ice fishing or if you're on a new body of water. And let's be real, sometimes the fish just aren't biting, no matter what you do. It's like they're hiding from you and you're left out there on the ice, wondering what you're doing wrong. Another challenge is that the conditions on the ice can be super unpredictable. The weather can change in an instant, and that can affect the way the fish are behaving. And even when you do manage to locate some fish, keeping them interested can be tough. I mean, you might get a bite or two, but then they just stop biting and you're left wondering what happened. It's like they were just teasing you, and then they disappeared. And then there's the issue of presenting your bait in a way that looks natural to the fish. When you're ice fishing, you're basically just dropping your line down into the hole and hoping for the best. But the fish can be really finicky, and if your bait doesn't look exactly right, they might not even give it a second glance. All of these challenges can be really frustrating, and they can make ice fishing seem like a real struggle. But what if I told you there was a way to make it all a lot easier? A fish finder is basically a sonar device that uses sound waves to detect fish and other objects underwater. It's like having your own personal radar system right on the ice. And when you're using a fish finder specifically designed for ice fishing, you can get some incredibly detailed information about what's going on beneath the surface. You can see the fish, the underwater structure, even the way the bait is moving. It's like having X-ray vision right on the ice. One of the key features of a fish finder is its ability to detect fish, even when they're not actively feeding. I mean, we've all been there, where we're fishing, and we're not getting any bites, and we're wondering if there are even any fish down there. But with a fish finder, you can see exactly where the fish are, even if they're not biting. And that can be a total game changer, because you can adjust your presentation, your bait, your whole strategy, based on what you're seeing on the screen. Another really useful feature of a fish finder is its ability to show you the underwater structure of the lake or river you're fishing on. I mean, this can be crucial because certain types of structure can attract certain types of fish. For example, if you're fishing on a lake with a lot of weed beds, you might see a lot of panfish hovering around those areas. And if you're fishing on a river with a lot of drop-offs and holes, you might see larger predator fish like pike or walleye. I've had some amazing experiences using my lucky portable ice fishing fish finder on the ice. It really stood out was when I was fishing on a lake in Minnesota last winter. I was using the fish finder, and I saw this huge school of fish hovering around a submerged rock pile. I mean, it was like nothing I'd ever seen before. So I dropped my line down into the hole, and within minutes, I was catching fish left and right. It was amazing, and it was all thanks to the lucky ice fishing fish finder. As I was reeling in fish after fish, I couldn't help but think about how much of a difference this fish finder had made. I mean, without it, I might have been out there on the ice all day, wondering if there were even any fish around. But with the lucky ice fishing fish finder, I was able to pinpoint exactly where the fish were and adjust my strategy accordingly. And the results were amazing. I put a link in the description below so that you can check out this little marvel for yourself. Using a fish finder for ice fishing has completely revolutionized the way I approach the sport. It's like having a superpower right on the ice. And if you haven't tried it out yet, I highly recommend giving it a shot. You won't be disappointed. Don't forget to comment below with your own ice fishing experiences, and be sure to tune in next time for some tips and tricks on getting the most out of your fish finder.